Um, I saw a couple of days ago the shortlist for the Ballon d'Or was released and you were one of the names on there alongside Lionel Messi, Neymar, Cristiano Ronaldo. How did it feel when you found out that you were on the Ballon d'Or shortlist? Yeah, it was special. Um, I probably found out exactly the same time as everyone else. So um, to see that and to see the names, to be alongside them names, it's um, obviously a, a dream and um, I think for all the years that you work hard, um, dedicate and, and see something like that, it shows that everything pays off and um, it's just a start, it, it doesn't stop now. Do you fancy your chances? <laughs> <laughs> um, I doubt it, but you never know. <laughs> um, the, the, the most important thing for me is that I continue to, to keep trying to hit the levels um, that I've set before and, and, and go even further. Um, that's always been my mentality and, and hopefully that continues. Yeah. You played in a game against Hungary in Budapest last month. Uh, that was quite a hostile atmosphere. What was that like as a game to play in? And do you think because of what happened during that game that has brought the team closer together? Yeah, definitely. I think it's probably up there with one of the best atmospheres I've been involved in to be in an away game and have everyone against us. Um, as a team, you can thrive off that. And um, I think the way we played and obviously the result we got in the end um, showed the confidence that we had in ourselves, the the togetherness we had throughout the game. Um, and it, it was difficult. I mean, the first 45 minutes we didn't score. We kind of found it a bit difficult to, to create chances. And then we come out second half, we get the goal. And then we get um, three, four, four after that. So... Um, yeah, we, we know they're a tough team to play against, but that def that experience that we had out there definitely, I think, brought us together and, and made us stronger as a team. Mason, a question for you. First of all, very many congratulations on your nomination for Ballon d'Or. Saw that coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to ask you, because you've gone through your first major, major tournament um, in terms of the Euros. And you are regularly a player that does not get injured, uh, and uh, that sort of at the start of a very interesting time in football with so much changing. How long did it take you to recover from the Euros, both physically and mentally? Because Thierry Henry said it took me 25 days, more than 25 days mentally, more than the break to get back into the game. For a young player like you, who who is so disciplined and and professional and is so readily available, how long did it take you? And would you be ready? for a, tour, a major tournament every summer? Um, yeah, I'd love that. Um, but I think after the Euros and what happened and the experiences that we went through, um, it probably did take longer than, um, than anything else. I think you do reflect on how it went, um, what we did as a team. Me personally, um, you look at your game and... Um, yeah, it was obviously such a big heartbreak for us to to go all the way and then to fall at the final hurdle. It was it was a difficult one, so you do luck at it. But we're footballers; we we now have to look at the next goal and and the next kind of challenge that's up. So um, yeah, that was obviously we had a break. I can't remember how how long it was. Um, wasn't too long, but you have the break to to kind of get away from football, um, to relax and and not kind of think about anything and then you're straight back at it in pre-season um, so that was kind of the, the period that I had. We're seeing all this extraordinary change from the Super League onto now a two-year World Cup and a tournament every season. Do you hope that the players get consulted ahead of all these plans in future because it seems to be the third, the fourth, the fifth group of players consulted? Um, yeah, I think so. To, to have the players input um, would be would be positive i think um us as players you know we want to play in as many top tournaments top games uh, as gareth said um we want to be involved in these big games so um yeah f to speak to us and to get our opinion i think as i said it would be a positive one um and it'd help kind of shape the future and i want to talk about the competition in this squad as well um a very strong team in the last match it could change all again how competitive is it in this side as we go to a world cup can anyone be assured of their place 
I think if if you look at um, the England YouTube of us training, you can see how competitive it is in training. Um, we're we're a very close uh, group of players, um, so any time we're in training or competing against each other, we want to win. Um, and and having that healthy competition going into say a tournament or any game, um, it's good for the group. Um, but yeah, we're we're very close, as I said, and and. Um, Every going into every game, we we all know our roles and responsibilities. And Gareth's spoken about the mentality. As a player, why do you think the mentality uh, in this team is so good? I think if you look at the players we've got in the group, um, the the leaders they wouldn't let that mentality drop at all. Um, and I think as a group, I said it many a times before, how close we are. We we set that standard so high that we don't want to ever drop below that. Um, I think if you look at the last game, it, it could be a sticky performance. Um, it, we could make it difficult for ourselves, but with the going into the game, with the mentality we had, um, with the brightness we have on the ball and, and the players that obviously started the game, um, made it easier than it than it could have been. So, um, yeah, and, and that's all down to the... The, the, the togetherness we have as a group.